Welcome back to Tensor Titan. So here we are with another exciting machine learning video. Today we will be diving into an exciting project which is a fake news detection using machine learning. So let's uncover how to build a model that separates fact from fictions in news articles. So let's jump right into it. So let's see what's going to be the workflow for our project. So we will start by importing the news dataset which will contain the fake and the true news. After this we will do some data pre-processing in which we will be handling missing values, removing irrelevant features and also performing the data cleaning in which we will be the cleaning our text. After data pre-processing we will do the data analysis on our textual data and after the data analysis we will divide our data into the training and the testing set with the help of the train test split. After this we will train our model with the help of the logistic regression and after training our model we will be evaluating it with the help of the matrices like classification report where we will get all the matrices like accuracy precision. After the evaluation of our model, we will deploy our model with the help of the streamlet so that the other users can use it online. Now let's jump into the coding part. So let me just quickly create and activate our environment for the project. As our environment is now active, let's quickly install the required dependencies which is the libraries. So pip install pandas, scikit-learn, streamlet, joblib and press enter. So let's wait while it's installing these libraries into our virtual environment. Okay. So required dependencies are installed. Now let's close the terminal. Now let's create a file app.ipynb. We will be using the Jupyter Notebook for our coding. Now let me just quickly import the required dependencies for our project. So these are the dependencies which are required by our project. Now let's import the dataset. Our dataset is divided into two CSV files. One is for the fake news and the other is for the true news. So let's just quickly import both the files. Okay, so we have imported both the files. So let me quickly show you the structure of our dataset for both fake and true news. Now let's give a class for each of the dataset. We will give 0 for the fake news and the 1 for the true news. So let's quickly add a column with the class in both the dataset. As you can see that the class feature is added to both the datasets where 1 represents the true news and the 0 represents the fake news. Now let's combine both the datasets into one. So we will be using pandas for concatenating both the datasets. So this is the dataset after the concatenation. So now let's drop the some of the features which is not required by us in this project. So we will be dropping the column title, subject and date from the dataset. We will be keeping only the text and the class column for this project. So as we concatenated the two dataset, let's just quickly reset the index. And after resetting the index, we will drop the index column from the dataset. So this is the sample data from the dataset which is the 5 rows randomly picked from the data. So now let's perform the text cleaning. So we will create a function, let's name it clean text. And here we will be pass our text which we want to clean. So let's first convert the entire text to lowers to ensure the uniformity in the text. After this we will be remove any text which would be enclosed in the square brackets. So let's quickly write the regular expression for that. So after this we will write regular expression to replace all the non-word characters which could be anything like digit or underscores with a space. And after this we will remove the URLs which would be starting with the HTTP or HTTPS and domain starting with www. After this we will remove any HTML tags in the text. And after this we will remove the punctuation marks by escaping and matching all characters in the strings dot punctuations. And then we remove the new line characters. And finally we will be removing words which contain digits. It can be like 1, 2, 3, ABC or ABC 12. So we will remove such kind of words from the data. And then we will return our text. Now let's apply this function to our text column in the dataset. All the pre-processing is done now. Now let's create the x and y variable for our model. 
we will be passing the text column in the x variable and the class column in the y variable. Now we will do the train test split by splitting the data set into the training and the testing set. We will keep the text size 0 0.25 and the random state 42. We will be using TF idea factorizer for converting a textual data into the numerical data. So let's create an object for our TF idea factorizer class. Now let's fit the extrain into the vectorizer and then transform our X test as well. Now let's create our model. We will be using logistic regression for our project. So LR is equal to logistic regression. And let's fit the XV train and Y train into the logistic regression model. Now let's do the prediction with the help of the logistic regression model. Let's check the score of our model. We will pass XV test and the Y test. So this score of 0 0.98 is quite good. Now let's see the classification report for our model. We will pass the Y test and the predictions. So the classification report for our model is very good. It shows that our model is efficiently predicting the fake and the true news. So now let's save our model. We will also save the vectorizers for transforming the input from the users. So let's just quickly save both the variables. Now that we have saved both our model and the vectorizer, now let's start building the front-end interface for our project. We will be using Streamlit for our front-end. So let's just quickly create a file. Let's name it app.py. And now we will start importing the required libraries. So we will import Streamlit and joblib. Now let's load our vectorizer. So vectorizer is equal to joblib.load vectorizer.jb and let's load the model is equal to joblib.load lrmodel.jb Now we will give the title for the website. So st.title fake news detector. Now let's write enter a news article below to check whether it is fake or real. Now we will take the user input, so we will create a text area. And after that, let's create a button which will check whether the news is real or fake. So first we will transform the input given by the user. And after that, we will give that transformed input to the models for the predictions. And after the predictions, if the predictions is 1, then we will print that the news is real. And if the prediction shows 0, then we will tell that the news is fake. And we will also handle that if the user doesn't enter any input, then it will show a warning that please enter any text to analyze. So now let's check our web interface. So we will write streamlit run app.py. So here you can see our web page. So let's copy a news and check whether our model is working or not. So you can see our model is accurately predicting the fake news and the true news. So now let's deploy our project. So first we will create a requirement file for our project. So firstly, we will activate the environment and here we will write pip phrase requirements.txt. So the requirement text file is created. In this, there will be all the required dependencies for our project. So now I hope that you have a GitHub account. So let me just quickly create a repository in our GitHub account. Let's name it fake news detection and create a repository. Now we will initialize our Git repository. So git init and git add. We will add the required files in our GitHub. So app.py requirements.txt, lrmodel.jb and vectorizer.jb. And now let's copy this git commit hyphen m first commit and then git branch hyphen m main and then we will add the origin. And finally we will push it into that repository. So now you can see that all the files are added to our GitHub repository. Now again we will run our app.py. So now deploy this app. 
here we will paste the app.py link and then here we will name our website so fake news detector zero so this is available to deploy so here you can see that our project is deployed on streamlit so let's check it so our project is working fine let's check the true value So our model is predicting accurately that the news is fake or true. So that's it for today's video. We have successfully built a fake news detector. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more exciting ML projects coming your way. Leave your thoughts, questions or suggestions in the comments below. And see you in the next project.